Right at the beginning of my presentation is, number one, electricity is lazy. It always takes the shortest, easiest path. And they're kind of thinking, lazy, okay, what is she trying to get to? And then I say, number two, electricity is always trying to go to the ground. It's always trying to get down to the ground. And I always have someone ask me, why is it trying to go to the ground? Well, the technical answer is it's trying to complete a circuit. And they're kind of scratching their heads like, what? Well, it's trying to go back to where it started from. And then when I say, um, number three, okay, so number one, electricity is lazy. Number two, electricity is always trying to go to the ground. And number three, electricity travels on the outside of the wire. It's another thing they never thought about. And I bring in the transmission wires and how it's on the outside. It's not contained on the inside like a garden hose where the water comes out of the middle. It's on the outside. And these things start to make more and more sense as the demonstration goes on. And when we do those experiments, it makes more sense. Like with the plasma ball, which they also love, they touch the plasma ball, the electricity is following their finger. Why? Because it's trying to get out and go to the ground, and you're the quickest way to the ground. That really strikes the chord. What is the number one reason for going into these schools and telling kids about electricity? Hopefully to save a life. Hopefully. And, and I always... Before I get into these, I don't want to get too graphic with students about electricity, but when I talk about what happens when there's an accident, power lines fall in your vehicle, what do you do? And a lot of times, some, people, some, some of the students know to stay in your car, wait for help. And if the car starts on fire, begins to smoke, and you know you have to get out to save your life, to jump out and keep jumping or hopping away for 30 feet. And we really, we kind of, it opens up a discussion, well, why? And we talk about why. Again, electricity is trying to go to the ground. And, but I always say, hopefully, none of you will be in this situation. Let's think positive. Let's hope none of this ever happens to anybody. But maybe, you know, if it does, you know what to do. And you're going to, and then you can go home and you can tell mom and dad. And maybe it will help them one day. Why did you decide to start the blog? I started the blog because I felt like traveling the nine states neat things happen to you, neat experiences, I wanted to share it. And I feel like with the blog, I can show pictures of my experiences, talk about the different states I've been to, and also share a little bit with uh, people about the students I meet or see, the people I work with at the electric cooperatives, how fantastic they are. And so many times, these um, cooperative representatives are taking photos, and I want to share them, and this is a way to do that. And hopefully, more people will understand, hey, that my job does exist, and it's great, and it's fantastic. And, and then hopefully, they have more interest in the program, and it'll just grow from there. And I think so many people don't realize that you travel our entire service territory. Yeah, nine states. When I say I'm not only am I just in North Dakota or South Dakota, I'm driving all the way to New Mexico in March. They don't realize, oh, yeah, New Mexico is one of the states served by Basin Electric, from the Canadian border to the Mexican border. So it's fun. It's great. Do you have a favorite blog post so far? <laughs> well, so far I have to say it's the blog post from, Co from Colorado, just because not only did I get to show some pictures of the lodge I was staying at in the mountains, but also I got to eat at a really great restaurant, and I actually took a picture with my cell phone of the sandwich I was eating. Yes, it doesn't have anything to do with electricity, but just to give people a taste, <laughs> quote unquote, of what I go through when I'm on the road. And I got, I had a really great holiday on a bun, and I don't know, just something fun. It's fun to talk about the food too. <laughs> and it gives us like a taste of Basin Electric Service territory. It's so diverse. Absolutely, absolutely, it is. And there's so many different folks and different places out there. And yeah, hopefully people will realize. There is a lot out there. There's a, there is a lot to see and do, and it's, it's fantastic.